So here's a little explanation of how I converted my starting system to 24 volt. Um, this pretty much solves the starting issues with the 2018 Gas Gas XC or EC 300s. Um, the 2019s also have similar problems. Uh, you'll want to go through all your starter components down there to make sure they're good. Usually the culprit is the Bendix cover. You'll want to change that first. Make sure your gears are proper before you do the system. But once you check all that, this is uh, the next step. Um, so this used to be my main battery. Um, this is an anti-gravity ATZ7, and it's a restart battery. Uh, that's important, and I'll explain that in a second. Um, and then I bought a secondary battery here. This is just a four cell, very thin, held on with Velcro and zip ties. doesn't budge. Uh, but this is an anti-gravity XPS SC-1, uh, and this is now wired as my main battery. So uh, to explain that, the negative is wired to the frame, the ground. The positive is ran to the starter relay, and that's exactly how your original battery should be wired. Uh, the starter battery is negative. This is the negative side. I know my colors are swapped, but I'll explain that in a second. The negative is ran to the other side of the starter relay, down there, the opposite side of this plug. Uh, the positive is ran to the starter motor itself. The reason why I have the color switched is because when the relay is open, or in other words, when you're not pressing the start button, this closes and is grounded to the frame of your bike. Um, so this technically would be hot since it's a separate power source. This would be hot to your frame. Um, so that's why I have this red even though it's on the negative, and this is black even though it's on the positive. Um, I do have the starter battery on a trickle charger and the reason for that is because the starter battery is not on the bike's charging system um, and that's why this restart battery is important. Um, because it's not on the, the bike's charging system this battery could potentially lose voltage if you start it enough times. However because it's the restart battery it has built-in low voltage protection where it puts it into a standby mode and does not damage the battery if the voltage gets too low. Um, and then if I ever need some like emergency starts, um, I can press the reset button and it'll give me a couple of starts uh, before the battery completely dies. Um, the starter, or excuse me, the main battery now is on the bike's charging system. So even though it's a smaller capacity, it is always being charged by the bike when it's running. Even if my bike isn't running, I did the math and my cooling fan, which is basically the only load on this main battery uh, when the bike is off, it, it can run for five hours. So the fan will run for five hours if the bike is off. I don't see any world where that would ever happen. Um, so because this, bi this battery is always being charged, I do not have a trickle charger on it. The idea is that I'll just trickle charge this battery after every couple of rides. Um, and then in an emergency situation, I have the restart function. So the bike right now is cold, 76 degrees, hasn't been running, and uh, this is how quick it starts. I think this is uh, gonna be the final setup for me. Uh, it works great, it's been reliable. I went riding all day today with it. Uh, it was probably over 20 starts. Uh, it's an amazing system.